Hello, hello, guys. How's everyone doing tonight? I'm just getting things set up. And we're just gonna start things off immediately. Can y'all hear me all right? Let's see. I'll just hit continue. Hey, Victoria, I'm doing all right tonight. How about you guys? All right, good. Um, let's see, make a delivery. Oh, let's share memory chip data. Yes. Memory chip data restored. The following data can now be viewed via your cufflinks. Frame Arms Girls, Byaku. All right, we will check that out at the end of the Thank video. You for your contribution. And I don't believe I grabbed any extra cargo. A new ranked event is available. We're not gonna check that out just yet. Let me see, yeah. We don't have anything else we picked up, so we're just gonna recycle some stuff and head on our way. Recycle. By handing over excess materials to a facility, you can increase the amount stored on site. Now these materials can then be used later for equipment fabrication and so forth. Just remember that each facility has separate stores and that the amount on hand differs from site to site. Don't get carried away. All right. I just want to recycle the stuff I don't need. And it's all used up. There we go. Yeah, I meant to skip that scene. Delivering car. I can't remember how to skip. Yay! All right, there we go. We hit the circle. All right, let's take on some orders. Congrats, Sam. You're cleared to take on open orders. While they're not as high priority as the ones specifically assigned to you, if you're already heading a certain way and you have room to spare, it couldn't hurt to do a little more, right? Just because they're not mission critical doesn't mean they're not important to someone. So why not do a good deed or two? Okay, let's see. The first one, we have orders for Sam. Urgent. Resin's delivery to the distribution center west of Capital Not City. This is a somewhat unusual order. You're going to want to review the key points in the summary. Okay, well, let's listen to the briefing. Bridges has printing materials stored in the wind farm. We'd like you to bring some to the distro center. These materials are pretty varied, and to get the most out of the Cairo printer, we need as many different types as we can get. Hurry back. Alright, well, it... What's unusual about it is that it has a time limit, so we'll need to be aware of that. And I would like to grab some orders for Sam, too. Well, we'll grab that in a second. Let's look at the, I mean, some standard orders. That's a request for material transport. By helping a facility replenish its stores, you'll gain... Okay. Um... I'm looking for the distribution center west of Capital Not City. Delivery of power tool inspection. Power supply inspection tools. Let's grab that. And then we'll go grab that order for Sam this time. Hey, great work. That wind farm you've brought into the network is essential for our continued expansion. By way of reward, I've added a little something to your PCC. A generator option. Generators recharge the batteries of all nearby devices. That includes machines, bikes, and other battery-powered vehicles. Oh, sweet. So we're going to use that bike. That's right by the, uh, the distribution center we're heading to. Thank you for your 
Orders for Sam. We already went through this order summary and everything, so I'm just going to select it and load it up. And we're going to get some gear, which is good because I'm not fabricating anything. And off we go. Order assigned. Delivery parameters updated. Time limit set. Okay, we need to hustle. I cannot tell you how awesome this exoskeleton thing is. It is amazing. Other players are pleased with us. We received 312 likes. Wow. What the heck is that? Alright, hopefully we can just sneak through this whole place. It's not raining right now. Maybe we'll get through without any BTs. And we'll make record time. The girl can dream, right? Alright, we're being time. Let's get going. Keep going. is hustling. What are the likes for? They are, if I am to understand them right, I think they help us get higher porter grades. Which is just kind of like advancement within the game. That's if I'm remembering them properly. <laughs> but likes are good, we want them. Okay, let's see. I'm happy to play it. I actually like this game. Which I think I've mentioned, I've said, it's pretty unusual for me to like a game like this. I'm normally... I'm not too big into anything with a lot of fetch quests. This is pretty much comprised of fetch quests, but it has a really good story. And I don't mind it. The fetching and the delivering is tied into said story. And it seems especially relevant given that we're in the middle of a pandemic and everyone's like getting all sorts of deliveries probably of food and medicine and supplies. At least I know I am. Hey Christopher, thank you so much for the five bucks. And how goes life? Anything new I am dying to talk about? Goodness, I feel pretty boring now. I live in the woods and the most exciting thing I've done is load up my woodshed uh, with lots of firewood for the coming winter. We have an interesting song coming up here.
lot of respect for the music. I wasn't talking. <laughs> but, um, yeah, what else are we up to out here? As I said, I'm mostly preparing for winter. I'm learning how to can things, and, um, I would like to restart my garden, even in the winter, like, things like, uh, winter spinach can be grown. But my cat is sort of making that impossible. He's decided that the garden area is his poop area. <laughs> so, every time I try to plant something, he winds up digging up the seeds and crabbing in it. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Neko. You brought this from the wind farm? <laughs> I can't imagine what a chore that must have been. Thank you. Ha! <laughs> Made record time. Wow! Don't do things by halves, do you? Hard to believe one man could bring in a hole this big. Then again, you are a legend. Alright, show me my S ranks. I almost said A rank, but it's hard for me to remember that A rank is not the top rank. Alright, here are our likes. I'm pressing something and I'm moving the screen around. There we go. S for awesome. We have new sound data, anything you need. And we have new uh, hologram and new interview data for Kyle Contamination 2 and BTs re are reaching out to us. More bandwidth, which means we can build more stuff in this area. Oh wow, we're almost at five stars already? That's crazy. There's our beautiful S rank. And we earn the trophy everyday delivery. Complete a standard order. Alright. Free fertilizer. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. According to what I've read, it's bad for the plants. For if we're planning to eat them, to have the cat crapping in the garden. So I haven't uh, tested that. I don't that. know anyone who's done more to bring people together and get them back on their feet. It's hard to believe you're just one guy. Can't help wondering if the great deliverer isn't actually a small army. Because it sure seems like whenever someone's in trouble, you're there to lend a hand. It's enough to make me think you just might make it all the way to the coast. Good luck out there. I'll be rooting for you. We're definitely gonna make it all the way to the coast. What are you talking about? Alright, let me see. What new orders do we have? Confidential documents that are going to the way station west of Capital Knot City. And let's see. Stealthy collection. Data from a rune factory interior. Let's try this one out first. It sounds really unique. Like we're going to go to that junkyard area. That was really cool. Let's listen to the briefing. Remember that mule cargo you brought back from the decommissioned factory? It contained records. Old school data storage devices which we've been processing. Their contents suggest that the facility was run by bridges. Long before the mules staked their claim, that is. They're not demons yet. But given their close proximity to Capital Knot City, they still pose a threat. We need to learn more about their plans, whatever they may be. The good news is, our techs managed to crack their security measures remotely, which allowed them to lift the lockdown on the factory's main entrance. The bad news is that we'll need someone with a cargo scanner to head in there and hunt for additional records. The more data we obtain, the more complete a picture we can construct. I wish there was another way. But I'm asking you to infiltrate the factory and get us all the information you can. Needless to say, you'll have to fight your way out if you get caught. So be ready for anything. Alright, this sounds interesting. Let's definitely check this one out. And we're gonna get a, be given a Mazer gun. I hate the Mazer gun. Isn't there another gun I can get? I want a different gun. Mazer gun's the only gun we've got. Okay, well, nothing I can do about that. <laughs> House plants equal cat salad bar. And you have an indoor cat in a coffee plant. Yes, that is pretty rare that they get along well. My cat, we tried to have him as an indoor cat, and oh my goodness, it didn't work out. He actually ultimately kind of broke my arm. <laughs> yeah. 
a long story. <laughs> and then he got kicked outside, so now he's uh, indoor outdoor. Order assigned. Okay, I don't like that my battery is at half power. So we're gonna go out and charge it before we head to the mule camp. Hey Sam, you could probably get that bike running again if you charged it with a generator. Ooh. Why not give it a try? Well, I was just about to charge my exoskeleton, so this might work. Oh, it's a post box. I don't want a post box. How do I do generator? Okay, but up and down on the D-pad lets you change directions. My cat is savage. Yes! Yes, he is. He brings us home rats that are like the size of him. He's crazy. He fights everything. Every time we move to a new area, all the neighborhood cats, there's like a clears like a circle around the area and just attacks everything in sight. <laughs> More like I was so I was holding the cat and he bit me so hard I elbowed backwards into the wall and I have thin bones, so yeah. <laughs> no, he's actually a really small cat. He's just pure evil. Alright, that was actually a really cool song. I love Wood Kid. Looks like a way through. Yeah, we had a bike. I'm not sure I'm gonna drive it back though. I'm really bad at it. And if you just hit one of those little rocks, then you've gotta deal with um, damaging your cargo. And every time I look at the chat, I lose a rock. <laughs> so Someone liked my ladder labyrinth. <laughs> All right. There we go. Sam, if the techs did their job, the factory should be accessible now. Head inside and start searching for records. All right. Oh boy, we're gonna have to deal with the mules again. I kind of don't want to use this gun. It wasn't that useful. I did better just knocking them out with my fist, the old-fashioned way. Oh, this is a climbing anchor. Goodness. Oh, they're still asleep? Seriously? Okay. That works. Let's... How do I hogtie them? Huh, it's not letting me hogtie it. Okay. <laughs> Go down and in. I would like to hogtie these guys so I know they're not getting up, but okay. 
Wait, maybe I go and equip my rope. Where's my rope? Or strand. R2, okay. Oh, hog time. Ah, whatever. Yeah, so I was trying to use the strand and it doesn't hog time. Okay, we're gonna go down. We have to go down into here, I believe. Wait, what? Hello! Hello. I thought we were going into that. Oh, shout in the dark. So I'm gonna shout out and have it return for the first time. Yeah, I think you're right, because it's not- I went above him and I was holding L2 and R2 and nothing happened, so... Oh, here we go. I think this is the entrance. Yep, there we go. Sam, see that access panel by the entrance? You should be able to use that to get inside the factory. <laughs> oh wait, I think I just unlocked a post box. Maser, maser guns, maser guns, maser guns. I don't care about your maser guns. <laughs> Open the panel. is no longer fast anymore, is it? Oh, oh, I see mules. Let's see if I can't sneak inside. Hey, I was trying to, ah! Well, now the whole place knows. I was sneaking with my rope. I'm ridiculously bad at using this strand. to knock him out, but... Facing this way. Uh, yeah, I don't think he's gonna move. Let's see if we can't skedaddle around here and sneak up on him through this other door. Yeah, there we go. Merc. I am a UPS Merc. I have much more than your 
average delivery guy. Interior data. That's what I'm grabbing. Well, that was simple. It's the ghost person again. Ghost granny. Excellent work, Sam. That's exactly what we were hoping to find. Bring it back ASAP so we can get our people on it. In case you're tempted to venture further in, you should know that we haven't been able to crack the security system guarding the rest of the complex. So focus on delivering that cargo. Can you start a new game without deleting your old safe from PS4? It looks like there was an option, but I haven't tried it. Yeah, this was definitely not on the PS4 version, by the way. It's a very cool area. Ah. What does this say? Kill... Lee? Eh, I don't know. place open past 10. The little uh, cow town I live in is <laughs> definitely, I think everything shuts down at like 7 and it's a ghost town. Well, we are free and those mules are still asleep so I am happy. I'm gonna save because I'm gonna try to ride the you cannot save as a threat has been detected nearby. Okay. Yeah. Well then, let's get the heck out of here. Red is me, probably. <laughs> oh, you're working delivery, Victoria? That's interesting. I bet you have. I've been holed up in my house basically for two years. I feel like a hermit. Hopefully I won't fall to my death. Oh boy. I could just put another rope down. That would be logical. And I like to defy logic. Oh god. Let's pick up these chiros. Molecules. And I remember the bike being way more useful. Like, faster? I don't know. Where's the bike? Is it over there? Is it over here? I lost the bike. I lost the bike, guys. I don't remember where I parked.
Did I delete the file and start again? I don't think so. Like I said, I think you can uh, transfer the file over. Nice. There was an option on the menu. I'll show it at the end of stream if you're interested, but I haven't done it personally, so I can't attest whether or not it works. Just that the option is there. I don't think anyone in my area wore masks. <laughs> I was usually the lone one with a mask in the grocery store. Everyone else is running around carelessly. Well, I don't know what happened to my bike, so it has been abandoned. Ooh, let's drink some energy drink, though. My bike is lost to me. I'm pretty sure I can fabricate a new one. Good morning, Sam. Well, good morning to you, strange cheeky voice. They scold me for the war, but I probably not. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges are the verifying. I forgot where I parked it. I'm like real life, I didn't actually have to go hunting for it. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. <laughs> Don't get me started when I go to the mall. Oh god. They have these like four starry parking garages. And it's like, you expect me to remember where I parked? Good lord. Alright, now I am master. <laughs> to see it, if I must go, my dreams need me. <laughs> the legend returns. How you doing, Sam? Delivery's in damn fine shape. <laughs> I stole it from the mule encampment. And it has 0% damage. Give me my S rank. Thank you. Ooh, we have new sound data, Goliath. And new interview data. Memo 2 from mother to daughter. And Porter's Note 1 to our beloved daughter. The records you brought back for analysis contained additional designs for BB pods. This data has given us new insight into how we might customize yours. By changing its color, for example. Feel free to experiment with this feature the next time you visit your private room. Why is it like putting food dye in the synthetic amniotic fluid now or something? It's <laughs> interesting. Well, we got a like from BB. Bye, Sam. Good work. Well, let's go over Tyre, we'll replenish his... Oh, well, actually, we'll do that after. I'm gonna recycle some stuff. Need to recycle my boots. Mule boots. I think we can recycle those. Bridges boots, level one. Recycle. Oh, wait, I think I'm recycling something that... I don't want to. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, well, they're both damaged. Okay. Yay! Let's skip that. Alright, we have more resins now. Fabricate new boots since I don't have any shoes. It sounds uncomfortable. Fabricate two new boots. And 
put on footwear. There we go. And the next one, attach to boot clip. Hey, okay, let's go take a nap. And hey, Sea Girl and Aaron. Time passed while I was sleeping. Hey, no kidding. <laughs> Good morning, Sam. Alright, I want to check out customizing Sam, this pod. Has your unread mail been piling up? You might be missing out on helpful tips or even special rewards. At least make sure to read the priority mails, the ones with the yellow subject lines. Alright, we will look at our inbox for a minute. Before we head out again. Customize pod. Let's see. What can we do? Ooh. Oh, okay, you can't customize the amniotic fluid color. It's gonna say it's a little weird. Well, let's put gold. Chiral gold. I used to watch Animaniacs when I was a kid. At least I think I did. It sounds familiar. Let's check out our mail. What do we have? Oh, we have two new messages from Benjamin H. We want to want you to look for some lost cargo. Test order. I don't remember that I, what Greek symbol that is. Anyway, you're doing very well, Sam Bridges. I guess I should expect nothing less from the great deliverer, though. Yeah, I've heard the stories. Rumor has it that you're a big Half Life fan. Once we were united, but now we've been scattered all over. But that's why we've got to keep working, right? Anyway, listen, I've got a favor to ask. I want you to find some lost cargo for me. You know the river to the north of the distribution center west of Capital Knot City? Just follow it northeast from the center and you should find what you're looking for. It's a cube, so it ought to be easy to spot. You've probably never seen anything like it before, so I wouldn't blame you for being leery. But it's not dangerous. It's really, really important to me. Important as life itself. If you manage to find the cube, it'd be great if you could take it to the distribution center west of Capital Knot City. I'll chuck a bunch of likes your way in exchange, of course, plus a little something extra, too. You're the only one who can help me, Sam. I'm counting on you. Alright, how about taking a break in a private room? You've been working hard, Sam. Your porter grade ought to go through the roof if you keep this up. I wonder, though, how's your BB doing? Even if you're feeling fine, it might be a good idea to give the little guy a break from time to time. I don't know. Can't help but empathize with BBs, I guess. Maybe because I'd be one too if my last name began with a B. If you know what I mean. So yeah, head down to one of those underground facilities, private rooms, I mean, and take a load off. That's my advice. Your BB will thank you for it. See you around, Sam. Oh my god, Pinky in the Brain. I love P Pinky in the Brain. Pinky in the Brain, 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 Brain. <laughs> They're always trying to take over the world. Let's see, I think BB has some memories for us. This is what the world looked like hundreds of millions of years ago. It was just one big continent. And do you know what this is? The moon. I'll show you the real thing soon. I promise. Well, will be yours 
let's explore. You'll be able to go wherever you want. Even the moon. new orders. I wonder if that request to find something is in our order list. No. Cred recovery confidential documents. Is it under standard orders, maybe? No. Okay. Well, let's grab pre-stranding movie footage. I think we're going that direction anyway. Yeah. So, we'll recover confidential documents and deliver... Ooh. What was it? Oh, yeah, this is only five kilograms. Uh, Pre-stranding movie footage. Less than 50% damage. Nothing really special about that one. Load it on up. And I don't have to optimize it. And then we'll grab our next order. Order assigned. And we'll check out orders for Sam, recovery, confidential documents, and listen to the briefing. For this retrieval order, you will be hunting down a book. An old school printed on paper book, the kind that predates the Death Stranding. Even before the world went to shit, most were published in digital formats only. It's rare to find one intact these days. Apparently, this particular book was the work of researchers who may have anticipated the Death Stranding. It was en route to Hartman when it was taken. Mules, according to Waystation staff, in case you hadn't guessed. The book's no different from any other cargo to them. But to us, it's priceless. Get it back, Asa. Okay, let us accept this order. And load it on up. It's giving me more stuff? Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna have, like, just tons of order crap fabricating for me. So what is the death training about? It is pretty complicated. <laughs> uh, the death training, it's about an explosion and we're not, as far as I know, we're not really certain what the explosion was, but it linked the world of the living to the world of the dead. And everyone has to hole up, basically, in their hidey holes and, um, rely on these porters, the delivery guys. Otherwise they risk getting eaten by the BTs, or the BTs turn you into one of them. I'm not entirely certain. All I know is it's really bad. One guy we were traveling with, he uh, stabbed himself to death rather than let the BTs get a hold of him. And the BTs are the ghostly things that are always after us, and we have a, what we call a bridge baby, which is, to quote them exactly, they are, bridge babies are babies harvested from their comatose mothers, and they're put in these pods so you can see the, or detect the BTs better. Yeah, it's super creepy. Anyone? Somewhere around here, we gotta shout back. Let's see, and... Is it over here? Collect, retrieve, mule camp. Yep, there it is, that's where we're going. And what is this? Capital knot. Why do I have a little thing over there? I'll check that out later. Kingdom of Amalur. I remember that game. I think I played that a long time ago. <sighs> if I remember properly, I loved the game. And yes, if a person dies and you don't cremate them quickly, it causes a massive explosion. Which is really kind of dumbfounding when you think about it, because think about all the people who get sick, or... I don't even know, how would you detect it? Seems like everything would be exploding all the time. 
haven't bothered me yet. Whee! I love running with these skeletons. Oh boy. You had oatmeal for dinner, Miss Jen? Actually, I approve. I've had oatmeal for dinner many times in my life. Or moussely, which is basically the same thing as oatmeal, just with seeds and nuts and raisins and stuff in it. Well, the meals probably won't bother me since it's raining. When Sand can repatriate, does that mean he is immortal? I don't know. At the very least, I think he gets... They did refer that he gets older, so I think he might die of old age. But if he dies from unnatural causes, yeah. I think he comes back. He still causes an explosion, though. <laughs> Which is unfortunate. Or at least to my understanding. It is certainly bizarre. My sister-in-law was asking me what a, it was a, like a Death Stranding cosplay and someone had dressed up and they had this BB in a tank. <laughs> she was like, what is it? I was like, oh my goodness, I have a story to tell you. Once there was an explosion. I brought one order and then we have to go. Oh crap, I didn't go grab the other one, did I? Well, we're right by it. We'll go grab it in a second. Colin, well, thank you for coming. <laughs> you won't sleep well. I'm so glad you're here. You always take such good care of our cargo. Alright, we have zero damage on everything, and we got quantity for more, so we got a gold a strength. And we got about half a star of connection. Oh, we have two more emails. Let's check them out in a bit. We're gonna go grab the order we didn't. Well, the retrieval order. Um, over there. Ooh, Chobani Greek yogurt. Yeah, I actually love those. Cargo is a weapon. I forgot about that. It's kind of funny. Eh, I don't need to use anything to cross this stream. Grab an energy drink, though. Bring your stamina. Stamina. I cannot pronounce that word properly.
yogurt with spinach and artichoke. All right, that sounds a little weird to me. <laughs> and I, I actually eat uh, plain Greek yogurt sometimes. If the gun is useless, their containers aren't. I will definitely keep that in mind. I think the Mazer is useless, or I'm using it wrong. I don't know. I've tried it many times, and we do not get along very well. I've been tried it like twice. Grab the cargo and run. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find that cube. It's around here somewhere. Okay, wait, no. What did they do? Open it up. There we go. Confidential documents, that's it. Lost toys. Well, I guess we might as well deliver all this. And we'll grab some metals because who doesn't need metals? Oh, not auto arrange it. There we go. They probably are taking shelter. They're scared of BT, so that works to our advantage. I don't know, the stuff in my legs hasn't been fully restored. There we go. Ah. <laughs> Sammy is scared in no time, Paul. We are. We brave the BTs. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm not going down this. It's wet, it's slippery, and I've got a ton of cargo on my back. That is a recipe for disaster. so creepy in the time fall though I just know the BTs are like watching me and does that look like a golf tee to anyone else it looks like a tee with a golf ball on top of it so it makes me laugh at it That was always my job when I was a kid. My grandfather would bring me golfing. So I would go, like, fetch the golf balls. <laughs> it wasn't like a golfing, um... It wasn't like an official golfing place. It was just the field next to his house. Well, now I'm by these rocks. I wonder if I just go around or I can go over. Yeah, let's go over. Use our ladder for something, I guess. Yeah, see, once you see it, once you see the golf tee and the golf... Wait, hey, come on, go up the ladder. Ah, you're not gonna grab onto it? Okay. Give me a heart attack there, Sam. See, now you just can't unsee it. I'm just waiting for, like, a giant grandpa to come and hit that ball off the tee. 
Ooh, you gotta hit the forward by a golf ball, huh? Yeah, that doesn't sound like a good time. Didn't get it, and I've never been hit in the head with a golf ball. I have been slammed to the back of the head really hard with a baseball bat, though. And I was apparently out for a good few minutes. Oh man, Oregon Trail flashbacks, huh? I used to love that game when I was a kid. Make delivery, deliver requested cargo. All right, let's skip over that. We've seen that before. Well, I'll be. We've just about given up on seeing this again. Let's not uh, judge a book by its cover, though, huh? Let me take a closer look. Very, very nice. It's exactly like I remember it. <laughs> Talk about lucky. And we have our results. Zero percent damage across the board. We should have an S rank. Yay! S for awesome. And now we're delivering all the lost cargo. We're getting lots of likes for that. So I think the more likes we get, the more connection we get. And the more connection you get, the more stuff you can uh, build in an area. Which becomes very useful when it's time to put up zip lines. Ooh, new interview data acquired. Likes secrete oxytocin. And more chiral bandwidth. And we have more colors to play with, more materials. I can't tell you how grateful I am. There are few bona fide treasures left in this world. And you just saved one of them. Thank you. Good work. New order available. Okay, let us recycle. What do we have? Metals. There we go. And more metals. Identity metals, other metals, all sorts of metals. Confidential documents is considered a treasure. I think it's the, uh, it's a lost book Thank of sorts. Let's check out our emails so we can find that other order. I'll read our two new emails and then we'll, I'll take another look at that one I've already read just so I can try and figure out where the cargo is. Uh, the meaning of chirality. Dear Sam, sorry you had to go to the trouble of chasing down that part for us, but believe me, you've done us a great service. Thanks to you, our Carl printer is finally up and running. Didn't think it would ever happen, if I'm honest, but it did. And now we don't have to rely on porters as much as before. We can make a lot of what we require with our printer. And if we need intel on the outside world, it's right there at our fingertips. On behalf of myself and everybody else here at the Distro Center, thanks. None of this would have been possible without you. Funny story, the other day I was using the network to read up on the word chiral. And where it comes from. Turns out it's Greek. It means hand. Bet you didn't know that, did you? The text went on about how your right hand is a mirror image of your left, but only if you put your palms together and if you point them away and lay one hand on top of the other. Well, that's chirality. That's how I understood it, anyhow. What it's got to do with the network, I'm not really sure. Something about routing communications through the beach, which is basically another world like ours. But not really. So when you force elements of the two into contact, that triggers a void out. Anyway, all I know is that while I hope you keep on doing what you do to bring us together, you'd best leave the dead out of it, you hear? Alright, let's go to the next email. Jake Wynn from the Wind Farm. Our hard work is paying off. Dear Sam, I wonder where you are right now. If it's somewhere powered by our Wind Farm. If anyone should be benefiting from our work, it's you. Until you brought us into the network, we could only provide power to a small region. Now we can send it to all the big cities and beyond. I'm still not 100% on the details, but basically transmitting it via the beach means we don't suffer any additional loss due to increased distances. 
So it can go as far as we need it to. Good thing we kept the faith in the second expedition and kept this place properly maintained. You made our efforts worthwhile. We can't thank you enough. Alright, so I want to look for some lost cargo. The river north of the distribution center in west of Capital Nut City. Just follow it northeast from the center and you should find what you're looking for. It's a cube. We're going to go looking for that. On a side note, chirality is actually a concept introduced, at least to me, in chemistry. And organic chemistry is a lot of fun. And there are chiral molecules. Molecules that can op rotate differently in light. So there's like the D conformation and the S conformation and all sorts of conformations. Those are the main ones. I vaguely remember this. It was too long ago. <sighs> Yeah, I, I did get the feeling we read it too before too, Daniel. Uh, unfortunately, it was Mark new. I think it was something in an interview or maybe a previous email, and he was just reiterating it. Do we ever get to see the cities? I trying to remember. Not really. At least I hadn't before, but I never finished the game, so I don't know. All right, I'm trying to find this. Place. It's a river. There. Okay, here's the river. And I'm supposed to follow it north. Alright, you're gonna find out just how hopelessly lost I get. Northeast in the center. Wait, it's north of this distribution center? Where's the distribution center? There's... The, wait, it's a distribution center. Oh my goodness. Well, I think it's this way then. All right, as you can tell, I am hopelessly lost. We're gonna do another order while looking for that one order. <laughs> it's not really an order. I need someone to like have a big shiny thing that says go this way. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Okay, we don't have any... Ooh, that's going to the wind farm. Ugh. Retrieval, structure repair devices, lost during delivery. Oh, let's see. Ah, whatever. Let's go find what that email is mentioning. Weapons restrictions lifted. Let's just follow the river, right? And we'll find it. Maybe. I think the mules are gonna find me. This is locating mules, but anyway. They usually come to me, then I knock them out, and we all go on our merry way. Okay, it looks like a cube. This is the river. Oh, whoops, I fell. I don't have any cargo, so it really doesn't matter. So I wanted us to follow. Okay, so here it is. Here's the river distribution center, so north of it. And then as it goes north, what did it say, east? Let's find whatever it is that we can find. This cube looking thing. Get me. 
plenty of mules. Northeast, center. Bah! Oh yeah, sure. Feel free to tell me, Khan. <laughs> I am perpetually lost. That is a regular piece of cargo. That is not a... Well, at least I'm getting my steps in. At least you're getting your steps in there, huh? looking for it and I'm not finding it. that goes to the distro center and next to the river. Wait, this distro center? Are we on the right road? Or on the other side? Eh. Whoa! There we go, we're slipping. On the road again, son. Oh, what is that? Is that it? Companion cube, there it is. We got it. Woohoo! Let's grab lost cargo along the way, and we are going home. Just want to grab that. Sam, Sam, he's our man. I think he's one of those secret distribution center guys. Scanning bridges, verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. Decontaminating suit. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. All right, let us. Delete. 
deliver all the lost cargo. too easy. Is this game an easy plat? I haven't platinumed it yet, so I can't really comment. I will get back to you when I'm done. <laughs> oh, before I forget. This is for you. I know it's a time investment, but it doesn't seem too hard. Glasses, huh? I have Gordon glasses. What do they do? Bye, Sam. Good work. New order available. Well, we're going to drop off in the room and then we're going to do some more orders. Your work is greatly Casualties of Twilight. Hey, Sam, you really helped me out there. Thanks, man. And that book you brought me, it's actually a movie script. I mean, I knew that all along. Sorry if I didn't keep you updated. Anyway, it's an interesting movie from an interesting time, back when the world was divided, East versus West, the Cold War, they called it. The movie is called Casualties of Twilight, and it's about two lovers who were caught up in the ideologies of the global conflict and about how they destroyed the world in order to be together. It's just a short movie, but it's interesting from a psychological perspective. Some people actually say it predicted the Death Stranding. I didn't think it'd get mixed up with the consignment of cargo that'd be stolen by mules. I really panicked once I heard it was gone. So yeah, thanks for bringing it back. I really appreciate it. One more from Benjamin H. You really are the great deliverer. Thanks, Sam. You really are as great as they say. I knew I could trust you, and now I'm closer to achieving my goal. But I've still got a ways to go yet. That was just one step on my journey. I'm going to need your help again, Mr. Great Deliverer. Anyway, did you like those special glasses I gave you? Gordon glasses, I call them. As worn by one of my world's preeminent scientific geniuses. I reckon they do a good job of bringing out your natural tough guy looks. We will have to agree to disagree on that. Now, is that a real movie? I am not sure. Okay, what orders? What is in the store for me next? Let's see. Do I have lost cargo still on my back? Check. Nope. Okay, do I have something to recycle? What is that? I thought I saw. Nope. Okay. Orders for Sam. Krypton buyout delivery to capital, not city. Let's listen to the... This break. is a somewhat unusual order. You're going to want to review the key points in the summary. Okay. Delivery time limit. Ooh, 30 minutes. Do not submerge. Do not submerge this cargo. The water in the container will cause damage to the contents. Okay. Well, you know, we might... We'll grab it. I think we need the bike for that, and I don't remember where I parked it, so let's... Oh, man! Really? Oh, boy. I think I need the bike. Uh... <laughs> Does anyone know if I need the bike? I don't have a garage yet, huh? I can't pull... Fabricate equipment...
briefing. I thought we listened to the briefing. The Capital Not Distro Center is holding some crypto biodes we need delivered to the city. Crypto biode cells can accelerate blood production in humans. They may well be the hardiest organisms on Earth, capable of enduring more physiological stress than any other. In harsh conditions, a crypto biote will eventually enter an metabolic state in a bid to survive. Unfortunately, shoving a bunch into a shipping container or submerging them in water for an extended period of time is enough to trigger this response. It takes weeks to coax them back to life if they're allowed to fully transition to this state. So you can't keep them cooped up for long. Make sure to reach Capital Knot City before it's too late. Alright, well... Let's try it without the bike. Hopefully we don't need it. That's a breathable container, remember? For its passenger's sake, don't immerse it in water. Okay, well, it's on the side. I'll put it on top if I cross any rivers. Order assigned. Time to run, Sam. Time limits begin and stand. Have a pleasant journey. Oh, I shouldn't have taken the bike. Maybe I'll come across it in my travels. <laughs> Run, Sam! Run! There we go. Nice. Hardest mission so far. Um, goodness, I wouldn't say any of them have been really difficult. There we go. This game doesn't get- I don't want to call this game difficult. The mules can be a bit obnoxious. But that's the one thing I like about this game is it's not too difficult. Yeah, wind farm. The wind farm. The first time we go to the wind farm, it's always a bit nerve-wracking. With the BTs everywhere and the rain and the slippery and the wind pushing you all over the place. But so far it hasn't been that difficult. Probably cross over the mountain, that might save me some time. There's mule territory in the mountains. Whoa, 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 don't fall. Do we get better guns? Yes, we get all sorts of different guns. We get lethal guns and non lethal guns, and yes, we do get much better guns. There are some extremely cool missions. I'm actually looking forward to doing them again. They were very interesting and very... They really progressed the story. I don't want to see one though. Okay. Yeah, the mules are after me. Fine. Oh, here they come. Crossing right through Mew territory. Don't worry about that. Oh god! Oh, that was too close. Oh god, it got me. Up the mountain, Sam, go! Climb! Climb, climb, climb! A ladder. It's all ready for me. Oh god, what happened? My cargo, the ladder was stolen. I don't care about the ladder. Well, they've abandoned their hunt of me. I just 
try to light the ladder. Oh god, where does this ladder go? Okay, drink some of your energy drink there, man. <sighs> Wait, I don't have a ladder? Oh boy. Well, I'm gonna feel silly. I'm climbing a mountain without a ladder. I think it's gonna be okay, though. And it is! Huzzah! Actually, we even get to see like snowy areas and all sorts of different weather. So oh, even though we're in a green, beautiful place, it's not always going to be like this. Okay, let's grab a climbing anchor. Oh. Ah! Well, thank you for telling me. Five minutes have passed. I wonder if that means I lose my S ring. Hopefully not. I'm going as fast as I can. One more, and then we're home free. confident enough to traverse the rest of this without a climbing anchor. It's a little too steep for me. Yeah, I think the terrain changed because of the Death Stranding. There's like a lot of explosions and that's why there's so much rock. I don't know. That was my interpretation anyway. Alright, hook it! Run, Sam! Alright, General, see you next time. Thanks for coming. <laughs> if this is the last job on Earth, you'd starve. Yeah, probably me too. I think I'd be too ha scared to leave my house. I'd just be in the corner with like an anti BT stick crying. No, 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 grip for balance. Grip for balance. on the top if I'm going to cross anything with any amount of depth. It's all blue. I can probably get away with that. But not if there's yellow. Oh, there's a little yellow. I didn't get the first. Okay, good. Living dangerously. Oh god. 
8 minutes Welcome and 27 to seconds. Proceed to distribution center. Well, we'll see if we got here in time for our S rank. I can't fabricate a bike yet. I had a bike, but oh, I lost it. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Sam, first deliver your cargo, then you can take on new requests. Okay, hopefully it's okay. Let's see, I think I took too much time. Welcome back, Sam Bridges. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Thanks for the delivery. Well, Sam Bridges does it again. Crypto bio should be fine. Much obliged. Fine, but are they good or great? No, oh, we got an A rank. We took too much time. No! Dirty, dirty A rank. Well, we're gonna have to go back and do that again. Not cool. Well, I'm going to unearn all this wonderful stuff in like one second. Hey, I got something for you. See if I can redeploy the cargo. Oh, they're still talking to me. Sam, delivery managed terminal. to get that Port bonus, huh? Information. Wear it with pride. That hat's reserved for Bridges staff who've gone above and beyond. Head on down to your private room if you want to see how it fits. Alright, so how do I redeploy cargo? I Sam, know. I received word from Mama that she's completed her anti-BT weapon. Prototypes of her design form a part of your next shipment. A delivery of relief supplies for the people of Port Knot City. Port Knot City is a fair distance from BT territory, but the weapons should come in handy if any stray too close. They'll also provide people with the means to defend themselves when traveling outside the city limits. The shipment also includes a variety of medicines, as well as human sperm and egg samples. These specimens are essential for maintaining genetic diversity as they were donated by civilians living outside the major population centers. By taking advantage of Kyrelium's temporal properties, we can ensure they remain viable for as long as required. After the shipment's been processed, connect the Cupid. Now once that's done, the entire region will be integrated into the Chiral network. Afterwards, you'll be pushing on to Lake Knot City. So we've included relief supplies for the people there as well. Of course, to get there, you'll need to cross over the lake in between. Details on that will be in a second order you'll need to accept then. Without a doubt, this will be your longest run for us to date. Make sure you've got everything you need. Alright, how do you redeploy cargo? I don't see an option. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to just go back and reload. Go to cufflinks. Orders. Ranked orders. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't see anything under orders. Ah, boo. Yeah, I'm gonna have to redo it. Let's see, where's load? go here and hit redeploy we have to go there let's see beginning scan scanning bridges id yeah there he is okay let's go get that find that bike and then we'll retry oh it's all right i vaguely remember redeploying don't worry darren i didn't think i would be able to I think I remember what you're talking about, the redeploying cargo, and I think it has to be done on orders in progress. So once you deliver it, it's no longer an option. Let's see if we can't find that bike. I left that bike here somewhere. I think it's the only way you can get S rank on that. I'm gonna be very sad. If I like lost that bike permanently. Yeah. Where did I. Are we bringing it. Where did we go with the bike? I was going. Where was I going with it? We were going up to. That mule area. Was it here? There's a mule area. Here's another mule area. Oh, there it is. There's the bike. It's right by Luden's fan. Well, you know what? We should probably bring some stuff up there to the Luden's fan. He's around somewhere. Yes, it is on the map, and we found it. It's right there where the A is. How did I get the bike way up here? I have a talent for, uh, <laughs> I don't even know, losing things. Save. Oh, I have to dismount first. Okay. Yay! Save completed. Try again. I think we're not going to be able to take the bike full uh, distance, but something like that. We've already listened to the briefing, so I'm going to skip this over is a all, somewhat all of it. Okay. 
accept the order and I like a, an extra ladder and we should be good there. That's a breathable container, remember? Yeah, right, so don't submerge it in water is basically what she's saying. Head out, yes. Order assigned. Okay, on the bike we go. Let's go, 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 go. Check chat or I'm gonna fall off this bike. Something bad will happen and I will be sad. Holy crap. Oh, I hate these rocks. I'm gonna hit one and you know it. There we go. Let's go along the dirt side here. Much safer. I'm just gonna check. Zero percent damage. No red bands. if you try to blaze through BT territory. Bad things. <laughs> I've tried before. Usually bad things. Okay, we made it in three minutes and 24 seconds, so this better be good. Yeah, come here. Here's your stupid crypto bios. Yes. <laughs> First, deliver your cargo. Then, then we can take on new requests. Okay. Welcome back. All right. Since we just saw this, I'm gonna skip over it. Yes, there's the beautiful S ring. New interview data acquired Egyptian mummies, pyramids, etc. The corals of the seam and cryptobiotes. 
You've been okay flying through it? I have a couple times. It just depends on the area. The one that I thought we were about to fly through and I was gonna have to get off the bike for, I did try blazing through once and bad things happened. But yeah, sometimes you can outrun them. I just remember it going badly for me. Oh, we are now an expert handler. More successful deliveries will earn you greater trust and respect. I've reached miscellaneous green 20. I will now receive more likes. We're an elite handler. And I will tire less easy from reaching grade 10. Hey, I got something for you. Yes, I'm gonna uh, bring up all the various uh, distribution centers and little way stations, even the out of the way ones to five star connection. Including Luden's band, the musician, all of them. Okay, safe travels. There's something different about you. Can't quite put my finger on what. But I swear, I'm not imagining. I'm impressed, Sam. You've brought pretty much the end. All right, we've already seen this. I have to get the Good work. New order available. Sam. Delivery Managed terminal. to get that bonus, huh? Information. Wear it with pride. That hat's reserved for Bridges staff who've gone above and beyond. Head on down to your private room if you want to see how it fits. Alright, we're gonna do that. We'll put the glasses on too while we're down there. Wakey, eggs and bakey, Sam. I got stuff to check out. Ooh, we have new mail. Three new messages. Holy crap. Far apart, but always connected. From Benjamin Hancock. Dear Sam, thanks again for all your help. The chiral printer's still running like a dream, and it kind of feels like one, too, seeing all these new buildings popping up around here. It hasn't solved all our problems, of course. The nearby wasteland's still crawling with BTs, but we, but now we can obtain a good chunk of our supplies via the network, and they can't interfere with that. To think we're connected, even all the way out here, didn't used to think it was such a special thing. The whole world was one big network back before the Death Stranding. Video, audio, text, every bit of information was available for one and all. But now we've gone one better. The chiral network and the printer can be used to send tangible things. Well, in a way. Welcome to the new America. Once we're able to send food and medicine too, you won't have to put your neck on the line for our sake anymore. I hope that day comes soon. I really do. Can I delete any of the old mail? Not that I'm aware of. See you in a second. Sending you likes from George Baton. Still keeping on keeping on, Sam? Me? I've been practicing going outside, longer and farther, each time. Thought I'd conquered my fears at one point, that I'd be making deliveries like nobody's business before long. That was before I wandered into mule territory for the first time. I panicked and dropped damn near everything I was carrying. Guess it belongs to them now. That little hiccup aside, I've managed to put up a few signs and watchtowers and other stuff I figured guys like you might appreciate. So it's not like it's all bad. Haven't met any other porters face to face yet, but I can tell... They're liking what I've done, as in, they've given me likes. Oxy and smart drugs might help to level me out, but I tell you, when someone hits you with that like, it's a feeling like no other. The confirmation that you've made a positive difference in someone else's life. It's grand, man. Anyway, good luck with everything. Sending all the love and likes. Delivery volume and your porter grades. How are your porter grades these days, Sam? I'm sure you're aware that tr trying to account for all five factors is the basic premise. But if you're anything like me, you just want to deliver as much delivery volume as you can, am I right? If so, you could always just load yourself up with a massive haul and aim for a Bridget's bonus for total cargo weight. Nothing wrong with the simple approach. Of course, in the good old days, it was easier. Roads were much better back then, so all you had to do was chuck all your stuff in the back of a truck and go for a drive. Can't do that now, though. Even if you've got a truck, they're usually more trouble than they're worth. Hell, sometimes you'll see them just sitting on the side of the road, locked and abandoned. Anyway, on the bright side, since lugging big loads of cargo is so hard these days, folks are really grateful when a porter manages it. 
hence the bonuses. Here at the Distro Center, for example, we have to make sure we've got plenty of food and materials in stock, which means we have to make delivery count. I dread to think of what would happen if we ran out of supplies. Oh, and how about this for some extra motivation? I found that my obsession with delivery volume has actually made me stronger and able to carry even more. Well, I've said my piece, and now you know how to make yourself popular around these parts. Stack your cargo high. Alrighty. We'll check out all the interview data at the end of the stream. Let's check on BB. See if we can't get more likes from him. Hi. Aww. Boom. He's so cute. Alright, back up. Oh, wait. I don't even know what I did. Let's leave. Oh, I was gonna put my hat and my glasses on. I forgot. Next time. Don't be shy. Just like we used to. Come on. Keep up. Sorry. Did I wake you up? Today's mommy's birthday. for the anniversary of when we first met. territory, but the weapons should come in handy if any stray too close. They'll also provide people with the means to defend themselves when traveling outside the city limits. The shipment also includes a variety of medicines, as well as human sperm and egg samples. These specimens are essential for maintaining genetic diversity as they were donated by civilians living outside the major population centers. By taking advantage of Chirelium's temporal properties, we can ensure they remain viable for as long as required. After the shipment's been processed, connect the Cupid. Now, once that's done, the entire region will be integrated into the Cairo network. Afterwards, you'll be pushing on to Lake Knot City. So, we've included relief supplies for the people there as well. Of course, to get there, you'll need to cross over the lake in between. Details on that will be in a second order you'll need to accept then. Without a doubt, this will be your longest run for us to date. Make sure you've got everything you need. Yeah, I vaguely remember it, but we're gonna take it on anyway because we're gonna get everything as uh, as close as we can to when we have to cross the Tar Lake, and then I'm gonna go build a um, a zipline network and bring everything up to five stars. Is this the director's cut? I need to play through that still. Yes, this is the director's cut. I've actually featured a couple uh, differences so far, but let's listen to the briefing. This order is critical, so humor me while I review the details. Port Knot City is your first destination. You're to deliver relief supplies and bring it into the network. Lake Knot City is your second destination. Again, you'll be delivering relief supplies. You'll also be carrying prototype anti-BT weapons, which will give us a chance to see how they perform in the field. Mama will brief you on usage, so pay close attention. And Sam, as a reminder, this run is no joke. You'll be covering a record distance. Don't take any chances. Oh, I've got a bike. <laughs> Ooh, this is when we're getting hematic grenades and blood bags. Awesome. That's a transfusion bag containing blood drawn from you. 
While equipped, it'll gradually replenish yours. Okay. Sam, this is our first attempt at developing an anti-BT weapon. I had to work fast with what we had, so they're basically modified hand grenades. At least, that's how they're meant to function. They've never actually been tested in the field. Who knows? You might be the first person to kill a BT. And wouldn't that be something? But, even if they do work, don't forget that they're fueled by your blood. Use too much, and you'll give yourself anemia. Fun! Sounds lots of fun. Okay, I would like to read this, but it's scrolling, and I need to scroll back up to the top. Okay, a grenade designed to have a strong anti-BT effect. While aiming, Sam's blood will be transfused with the grenade, which will explode upon impact when thrown. If any blood bags are equipped, these will be drained first. Can potentially drain a lot of Sam's blood from his body, so take care to avoid anemia. L2 to aim, R2 to throw. And the blood bags. A bag filled with Sam's blood. Equipping it will restore Sam's blood levels over time by means of continuous transfusion via the cufflinks. If you are carrying multiple blood bags, a new one will automatically be switched in as soon as the current one is emptied. If you are using a blood draining weapon, blood will be drained from the blood bags before it is drained from Sam's body. Blood bags can be stored in utility pouches. Okay, we have two grenades and two blood bags, I believe. Well, I guess we have three now. Load it all into the back. We believe that practice makes perfect. So, we've added an order to encourage you to take your new weapon to the firing range. Better to learn how to use it in a safe environment than when your life is at stake. Am I right? Wait, what? Hard work pays off in the end. So, am I supposed to go to the firing range first? That would have been nice before I loaded all this up. See, not cargo order orders. Nope, it doesn't say you have to go to the firing range. Okay, we're just gonna head out. Let us make sure, actually, before I go, to equip a blood bag. There we have to go. Just so I have it ready to go. Well, the Mauser gun is for or Mazer gun or whatever it's called. It's for um, the mules. The grenades are for BT, so they're for different types of enemies. Although I might as well recycle it anyway, just because it's useless. <laughs> or at least I find it useless. I'm sure other people. This is I don't necessarily find it. Okay, anyways, let's see. Which direction are we going? That away. I have a feeling this bike is gonna be abandoned before long. Sam, having dooms gives you advantages most folks don't have. But as capable as you are, you're also a member of Bridges now. An organization filled with experts in a whole variety of fields, all of whom are ready and willing to help. The team is here for you, Sam. All you have to do is ask. Got it? Good. What is the team gonna do? I'm out here in the middle of nowhere on my own. Using my own blood to fuel grenades. Well, let's just head this way. Speaking of ladders, there's one right there. Do I even have ladders? Mm, gotta stretch me. Yeah, I got a ladder. A ladder. Let's grab one more ladder. Looks like 
this is as far as we're gonna go on the bike. Let's see how much further we can get the bike up. Made it pretty far. Well, goodbye bike. It was nice while you lasted. Now I'm kind of regretting picking up that ladder because it looks like there's ladders up here already. Mrs. Shinies. <laughs> and no, we won't remember where we left the bike. It's probably forever lost. Goodbye, bike. Well then, the PCC will be abandoned since it's almost ruined anyway. The reverse trike is already damaged in the time fall. Well, sucks to be that. Thank you. <sighs> for the rope, Igor. We're gonna drop the stuff that's almost ruined. You know, we're also gonna drop one of these maser guns. or mount Yeah, I think they're called maser guns. Whatever. Wait. I have two? Yeah, the PCC is just about ruined. Uh, it's... I don't know, during the time fall it's raining, so I imagine it's darker. Ooh, okay. Well, let's try one of these grenades, I guess. <laughs> oh, that is a fat BT. Goodbye! I think all I did was piss it off. Goodbye. Now you're dead, right? Sam, we're seeing major fluctuations in the local chiral density. Wait, you just took out a BT, didn't you? Fine work, Sam. Fine work. Well, it just came right back. What the heck was the point of that? Show you 
what happens. Hey, ah, get away! It's eating me or something. <laughs> as you can see. Yeah, it's 76% damage. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to go back and load. We gotta get a, a little bit of a taste of what happens if you get caught by BTs. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Okay, let us see. Do we need to recycle anything? Let's recycle the stupid maser gun. Let's recycle... No, not the ladder. Both maser guns. And the PCC is just about dead. No more materials can be stored? Ugh, whatever. I don't need it. Yes, I'm going to craft more grenades for sure. No. I already took on the orders, right? Oh, the trial for hematic grenades. Well, that's... Ugh. Well, let's do the trial for hematic grenades first. Sam, and we'll go do that. Mama here. Up for performing an experiment with hematic grenades? Hartman tells me they can drive BTs back to the other side. At which point, the ambient corellium in the surrounding area should crystallize. It's the resulting crystals that I'm after. I'd like you to bring them in for study. So, to recap, take out a BT using hematic grenades and collect any chiral crystals that form when it dies. Afterwards, bring the chiral crystals to Capital Knot's Western Distro Center. It's a lot to ask, I know, but I wouldn't if it wasn't important. Alright, we will grab that one. How do I redeploy cargo, maybe? Cancel the order I currently have going. Uh, orders. Redeploy, there we go. Yes. Your contribution. And then we'll go do that BT thing. Hematic grenade, and wait, why is that still in progress? I'll have to just do that later, okay. Order assigned. Whew. All right, we will be back for all of for our real order. First, we're gonna play with the hematic grenades. I can't turn properly. I got up. I did a wheelie. Now I can't figure out how to get back down. <laughs> uh, how did I do this? Sam, having dooms gives you advantages most folks don't have. But as capable as you are, you're also a member of Bridges now. An organization filled with experts in a whole variety of fields, all of whom are ready and willing to help. The team is here for you, Sam. All you have to do is ask. Got it? Good. There we go. Up and over the bridge. 
But anyways, yes, that was a very exciting battle. The squid. He's gonna murder me. Oh. Well, we have no orders on going on right now, so whatever. the grenades when I'm ready to equip the grenades. And we're ready to equip the grenades. <laughs> A second later. Yeah, I feel Holy crap, that's a lot of blood bags. Wait, is it equipped? Equip it. There we go. A lot of grenades, too. <laughs> to get exciting again. Sound. We're seeing major fluctuations in the local chiral density. Wait. You just took out a BT, didn't you? Fine work, Sam. Fine work. our bike. Vehicle's a durability rating. Container repair spray cannot be used. Well, that's sad. Yeah, to choke on your own blood. Ugh, it is weird. Whew. And now we are ready to do the actual order through BT infested territory. Hopefully no more giant squid. Whatever that thing was. It was very creepy. <laughs> Do I know what I get if I defeat the mini boss? No, actually. Mainly because since this is like a platinum and S total S rank thing, if you get caught, you know, all your stuff gets damaged. So I've never known I've never discovered that. I'll go out to uh, figure it out one time. 
one of these times I'll just go out without any orders or cargo on my back and get caught by a BT and see what happens. A squail. <laughs> Uh, perhaps. Oh, wow, you get a trophy Welcome for doing that, huh? I meant to know. It's on my to-do list. Hmm. I have any cargo I don't need. Nope. Why can't I take on orders for Sam's? Uh... Huh. Oh, claim cargo, there it is. Sam, you can use share lockers to exchange cargo with other porters. That's great. Let's claim cargo. Wait, timefall resistant wood? No, we had like eggs and sperm and all sorts of things. I hit redeploy cargo. This is going to Nick Easton. No, that's not it, is it? Private locker, maybe. There it is. Holy crap. Heavy. Let's get going. My bike might be about to die, but it doesn't matter. It's going to be abandoned soon anyway. block and actually damage my cargo. Up the hill you go. Well, that's as far as that bike's getting naked. Oh, now it's blocking my path. Let's go this way. Now this time, let us not meet the giant squid. Stupid BTs. And cold, huh? Something creepy this way comes. Okay, grab the rope and head up. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's been raining a lot where we live, too. I told my husband, if it gets any deeper, we're gonna... The materials room by time fall extra days. Take a sled and... I don't even know. Take a sled and ride it down the road like it's a river raft. Okay, now we're gonna grab some grenades. There's that fat one again. I don't remember BTs being fat. Anyone else with me? Okay, that one just got caught in it. I'm gonna die. There's nothing else coming this way. Right? They're both that way. Bye-bye! Time to die. This one's coming. He's struggling. Why is he so fast? Get out of here! Grab this material repair spray. Start repairing stuff. Wait a second. I'm at the incinerator. Did I want to go this way? <laughs> Well, I guess so. I'm heading that direction. <laughs> oh crap. That big fat one's coming at us. Get out of here. He's a baby. That's just sad. Okay, let's get out of here. Ugh. There's so many. Maybe I should have picked up more grenades. I'm down to my last grenades. What? How did that miss it? White figure that helped us last time. I think it's like random players that help you. I'm not 
entirely clear on it, but I'm pretty sure it's players. Oh god. Oh god. Pissed it off. Here is our delivery. Let us try a different route. Yeah, I don't think I can carry much more. Okay, let's go look at the map. So where are we going? Ugh. The thing is, I don't think there is another route. Well, I guess we could go... Oh, we could go around another way. We can go back the way we came. I just remember that I went that way in the walkthrough, that's why I'm like determined to go that way. This must be what purgatory is like. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Which way are we gonna go? Now I'm out here. So we're trying to get to Port Knot City. Or what? Do we have an order for him, too? Oh, we do. Oh, okay. Well, we've got two orders. So let's go to the, the around way, I suppose. We're going a different direction. I can't drive. So apparently I was supposed to, after the manic grenade trial, we're supposed to go to the distribution center west of Port Knot City, and I went, or Capital Knot City, and I went back to Capital Knot City. I thought that's where we'd deliver it. BT Area 2.0. Might be losing the bike unless I can sneak through. Let's see. We're gonna abandon the bike so I can sneak.
I've actually managed to go through here with the bike once when it was raining, but it was a trial and error thing, and I don't feel like restarting again. Especially for a bike that's almost ruined. Oh god. What am I doing? Bad things. I'm going. <laughs> That's what you get, BT. Ooh, nice, big, and juicy Kyle crystal. This is a much calmer route. <laughs> Less death this way. I'm doomed. The reverse strike is almost burned. Well, I don't care. I'm able to fabricate them soon. Cargo is a throwing weapon for <laughs> cargo. Uh, we'll see. I bet I, I wonder if I could use one of my empty grenade cases to throw it. Okay, let me see. Hematic grenade, it's used. Carry by hand. Okay, we press square, use a handheld cargo as a makeshift weapon. While doing so, release L2, R2 to throw the cargo. Okay. Let's see if I can't uh, knock this obnoxious mule out. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even throw it in the right direction. Hey! Rude! Okay. Ah! Ah! Rude! Rude! Oh, crap. Bad things are happening. What is he doing? He's got his stupid thing up. Run! Run! <laughs> You're being defeated! That did not go as play. <laughs> ah, they just stole some grenades in a blood bag, not much. Yeah, I like threw it in the total completely wrong direction. I don't care. You can have the blood bags, guys. Oh, good. I'm glad that we're out of mule territory. Have your energy drink. You'll feel better. 
What do we have? We've got... Oh, we've got hematic grenades left. And we've got... Here's some repair spray. There we go. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, we'll grab this and bring it. Stolen fuel. Ah! It's a little heavy now, isn't it? Yeah, the meals are slow. <laughs> Although I also considered them very easy to defeat before, and then I was like just dying. <laughs> we were uh, owning me back there. An order to do list. <laughs> Oh wow. One thing I'll say, the PS5, the haptic interface is crazy on the controllers. Like, I'm pushing down, I feel like it's almost pushing back. It's so weird. Too close. Oh, now we're back in VT territory. It's not mules, it's VT. Well, this is about to get creepy. Alright, BTs, I've got grenades. I'm not afraid to use them. Let's see. Yeah, I've got plenty of bullet bags. Drink more stamina stuff, or, well, let's not urinate. Oh, there's the BT. Duck, duck, get down. What are you doing? I think he's trying to pee. <laughs> Okay. No, oh, no. Is it dead? No, it's struggling. Look at it. I don't remember there being fat BTs. Is anyone else remember there being fat BTs? Crystals. Get away from me. Alright, we might need to get out of here. I can't get those kind of crystals. Yeah, they've introduced some beast to DTs in the director's cut. Ugh. Oh boy, it's coming at us, isn't it? looking for us, I bet. Let's see if I can't- oh crap, my grenade's out. Yeah, let's try to sneak past. But I think it's more difficult? So far, yeah. I mean, it's hard for me to remember. It was a long time ago that I was in this area doing, well, not all of these quests. It definitely added more quests. Like, there's this whole underground mule thing. 
That is definitely new. Okay. You need to drink your stamina drink. Whew. I need to get new boots. There's a lot of things I need to do once I'm back. I'm almost back. BTs? Y'all gonna leave me alone? One can hope, right? Ah! It is the leaning tower of Sam here. Here we go. <laughs> Put on new boots. Where's our boots? I have them on the boot floor. <laughs> It is needed in California, that's for sure. The rain. Although we've been getting a lot of rain lately. It's good. We've been in a horrible drought this year. Whew. Virginia's always raining, huh? I used to live on the East Coast. I'm trying to remember if it rained all the time. I remember snow in the winter. But it. Almost there. <sighs> Need to get a scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Where did I live in the East Coast? I've lived all over the East Coast. Uh, New York. Two different places in upstate New York. Yeah, sure thing. And let's see. Uh, North Carolina. Florida. That about covers it. Also the Midwest. All over the place. Cycle Cloud Crystals to complete the order equipment trial hematic grenade. Okay. Well, how many do I need to recycle? It doesn't say. How many do I recycle? No orders can be new cargo or lost cargo. Alright. <laughs> the legend returned. How you doing, Sam? You trying to put the rest of us to shame? <laughs> Fine by me. Oh, wow, we're at 940. Time just flew. Well, I need to finish what I started, so we're gonna finish this order and then read and then we'll be done. But yeah, we're not done. Bye, Sam. Good work. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Orders. Trial minimum. Desired. 100. Okay. Order available. Please We're access to deliver 100 of these and then we'll be done. Okay, so we're gonna have to go to the next area. Let's get this going fast here. Bye, Sam. Yep, bye bye. Ooh, I need new boots. Let's put new boots on.
Okay, we're gonna recycle. Oh boy. Matic. Container for spare spray. Ah! S cook materials are discarded. To, I think I was at Disneyland World when I was very little, but I've never been to Disneyland. I don't know. I'd have to ask my aunt, who I haven't talked to in forever. <laughs> All right. I don't think. Thank you see. for your contribution. <clears throat> okay. We need to finish up this order to Port Knot City. Oh, I should probably fabricate one more thing of boots on huh, before I go. Let's see. Fabricate equipment? Nope. I own two. Oh, well, whatever. Destination, Port Knot City. Let's get a move on. Ooh, that stamina bar is low. I'm very tempted to go. Uh, let's just go to the private room really quick to refill it. Sorry, guys. I'm a little discombobulated. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. We've seen that enough. We will be reading all of that at the end of stream, but let's go put on are shiny glasses. They help with the, what was it say? The cap helps with stamina. <laughs> okay, we'll put some glasses on them and we'll put a hat on them. Wait, how do I put the hat on? Put the hat on. Wait, there you go. Put your hat on, Sam. This is supposedly going to help us with stamina. We'll check on BB here. Oh, wait. We don't have anything to look at over there. Let's check on BB. Hi, BB. <laughs> Cute. You okay? Oh, thank you, wizard. You watched some of the playthrough? Yeah, I actually, I had to delete that playthrough. <laughs> I feel sad. I worked very hard on it. But yeah, uh, we were switching everything over to live stream. But thank you. Wow, so now I at least look like epic nerd. Okay, off you go, Sam. Let us go. We're gonna head to Port Knot City. Have a pleasant journey. Like Boot City on my back. You like the nerdy look, Miss Chin? <laughs> well, I am mimicking this nerdy look at the moment. I have my very thick nerd glasses on. I don't know if I've ever worn those when we had a, a camera for a stream. Go slow 
slowly through this water. Oh god. And still. <laughs> oh, you've never seen these glasses before. Alright. I haven't worn my nerd glasses on screen. I actually have really bad eyes, so I have very thick glasses. <laughs> I just hate them, so I usually don't wear them. Yeah, so this, we're going a very different route than we were when we went through the incinerator. So we're actually, the incinerator that we were going through is back there somewhere. Yeah, I've had bifocals since I was like, eight. So, <laughs> yeah. I have to wear them for everything. Reading. I don't wear them anymore for driving because their eyes got so bad I like feel like I don't have peripheral vision. So I don't drive with them. I only drive with contacts. Oh boy. They are expensive, but I need them to drive. I seriously could not go on the highway with my regular glasses. There's just no way. There, my eyes are right on the edge of the prescription where they no longer make contacts for. <laughs> they can't even go up half a diopter or whatever. That's what I was told last time anyway. Oh god. Well, where's the BT? And I'll, like, bludgeon it. Oh, god. I'm forgetting all my stuff. Kill it! Kill it now! Let's see if we can't go through this way. Oh, god. We've got company. Yeah, no kidding. qualify for LASIK. They tried to do that for a while ago, but I've had to have actually surgery on my eyes before because the retinas detach because they're so bad. But um, they didn't want to do LASIKs because I can't remember. I was too high risk for it or something. Okay, I'm feeling kind of silly. I apparently didn't bring a whole bunch of stuff, and I was, like, there. I don't know what's wrong with me tonight, guys. Sorry. <laughs> this is how not to do it. <laughs> I'm distracted. Go! <laughs> Sam, we need to get through here. We didn't bring potato repair spray. <laughs> A whole bunch of stuff we didn't bring. Oh man, get up and over here. I don't know. Sneak, just keep sneaking. Maybe we can find container repair spray. Four hour stream. Yeah, I didn't mean it for it to be this long. I didn't realize it was so late when I started this. I thought it was like 8:30. Oh god. Okay, what's going on? Oh no 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 not again. No. This is what you don't do, guys. This is what you don't do. <laughs> Alright, we made it. Oh, God. Go, go, go. I 
need container repair spray. I need so many things. Now get down again. Get down. Oh, I've messed up. this way, Sam. We're out of repair spray, we're out of grenades, so at least I'm keeping it interesting, right? <laughs> keep it down, Sam. Yeah, keep it down. Oh, God, I have nothing left. I have nothing. Oh, God. Hold breath, hold breath. Where are they? Oh, no! My containers are getting damaged. Oh, God. Oh, I forgot everything. I went and I rested in a room and I forgot to fabricate everything. Don't be me, guys. Always go prepared. Oh, God. What am I running into now? No, 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 no. No! No! <laughs> no! No, you do not! No, you do not! <laughs> oh, good lord. Well, guys, guess who has to go back? <laughs> I'm gonna go read everything and then we will continue this on the next stream. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Alright, let's go in and we will weapons read detected. stuff. All weapons. And we will finish this on the next stream. Yeah, I don't know. I was like super distracted tonight. Like No Man's Sky with hoarders. <laughs> Do these count as death? Probably. Failed delivery, at least. Good morning, Sam. This game is what normally not complete. difficult. I'm being Thank a little bit of a ditz. It, it's a little difficult. It depends on like what you're trying to do. If you don't care about your porter ranks, it's not that hard. But. Yes, I'm going to check my terminal soon, Sam. But um, if you're trying to get S rank on every order, then yeah, it's a lot more difficult. Okay, well, we've got a lot of reading to do, so let us get started. From Nick Easton to the man who delivers, I'm sorry. Sam, first off, sorry for calling you a newbie last time. You're Sam Bridges, a freaking living legend. And there I was, talking to you like this was your first day on the job. Dead man was none too happy about me treating you like this was your first rodeo. Man, do I feel like a dumbass. If you're the one helping us expand the network from coast to coast, we're safe in safe hands for sure. Guess the day America rises from the ashes might not be so far off after all. So you were a member of Bridges before you were a porter. And now you're back in the shit after what, 10 years? Suppose that means you outrank me, though I reckon you're not the type to care about all that. Out of curiosity, have you been using your private room to kick back and relax while listening to some music? The director asked us to hook you up with some tracks from the low roar. Said there's no better way to unwind after a hard day. I checked them out myself, and I have to say, he knows what he's talking about. Really got the juices flowing. Oxytocin, too. My favorite's a track called Pop Virus, and I think you might like it, too. Apparently, it's about a virus that destroys everything people think they know about music. Allowing something completely new to be created in its place. Kind of like what you're doing with America, right? Taking a busted foundation and rebuilding it to make something better in the long run. Give it a listen when you have a chance. You can take a shower <laughs> and carry the poop in your residues like grenades. Yes, you can. It's uh, a little disturbing. How are you doing, Sam? How's your BB? Me? I'm a bit worried. That's why I'm writing you, actually. You see, I used to have a BB of my own back in the day. 
I'd jack in whenever I went out on a run. Standard procedure and all that. Thing is, and this is just between you and me, I started, well, I started to care about my BB. Yeah, yeah, I know. I went to all the briefings. It's just equipment. Don't empathize. Don't get attached. Yeah, well, easier said than done. Especially when it gave me a like. A piece of equipment can't do that, right? Equipment doesn't like being rocked, either. Or get soothed at the, by the sight of a spinning odorac. Check out your tips if you're not sure how to do stuff like that. My BB loved it when I took us swimming. We'd just float on the water, but got real scared if we dove in or went under. Like a tool would give a shit about any of that. I bet your BB's the same, right? Reacts to things in ways that can't be explained away? Man, I miss those days with the little guy. You'll take care of your BB, won't you, Sam? Ah, what am I saying? I know you will. Sam has no privacy. He has no privacy. He actually complains about it the first time you go in there and he goes, Isn't anything private anymore? <laughs> Your bridge link grade makes the world a better place. Hey, Sam. Sounds like you're still showing us all how it's done. I've been making more and more deliveries myself, though. I'll have you know. The Oxy really helps me to cope with fear, so thanks for that. But don't go thinking I've got ice in my veins or anything. I still panic easy and still drop plenty of cargo when I do. Doubt I'm the only one, though. I found plenty of stuff that some other porters must have lost on a run. I try to do the right thing, take what drop cargo I can to the nearest post box and leave weapons and gear in share lockers. Won't lie, sometimes I feel like saying, fuck it, and letting it lie. But what goes around comes around, right? I help some someone recover lost cargo, someone will do the same for me. That's the essence of the bridge link grade. Most of us will never be legends like you. No shame in that. But if we work together and make connections, well, we can at least make the world a better place. And that's where bridge link co links come in. Together we can accomplish so much more than we ever could on our own. A good bridge link grade will only make it all work better. Alright, let's check out the interviews. We've got nine interviews. <clears throat> Like secrete oxytocin four years ago by Die Hardman. Before the stranding, the whole world was connected. There were networks, social networks we called them, that people used to communicate all the time. They shared all sorts of stuff through them. A random thought, a pretty picture, a home movie, you name it. And if you like something that someone else had uploaded, you let them know by giving them, well, a like. It sounds weird, I know, but that's the truth. Eventually, someone ran tests on the users of these networks and discovered that receiving a like triggered a rush of oxytocin. The theory was that it stemmed from a sense of being acknowledged. Even though you couldn't see the person you were interacting with, it still felt like they were accepting you, praising you, and who wouldn't like that? But that same process is at the heart of the mule phenomenon. It's believed that an overdependence on the oxytocin rush provided by these kinds of interactions is a factor and porters going rogue. With this in mind, it wouldn't be wrong to characterize mules as oxytocin addicts. In essence, they're social animals at the mercy of validation. Did I bring some water with me? Yes, but I'm actually almost out, so my voice is starting to go. <laughs> He's actually not home right now. He is meeting up with a friend for dinner. Anyway, we're on Kyle Contamination 2 from Hartman three years ago. Child contamination can be alleviated using similar methods to those used to alleviate stress. Increasing oxytocin secretion through contact with other people, administering smart drugs, and so forth. Uh, in recent years, however, a hormone dubbed lyxin, known to mitigate the effects of chiral contamination, while also restoring basic physical and mental acuity, has attracted a great deal of attention from, from the scientific community. Unlike oxytocin, lyxin cannot be administered externally. It is secreted within the body, but only in response to external stimuli. It is said to be the hormone principally responsible for the positive feelings that occur when one achieves a goal, enjoys success, receives praise or gratitude, or any other form of like from a fellow human being. All right, Egyptian mummies, pyramids, etc. Ooh, long one. Heartwoman, three years ago. At what point can it be said that man truly understood what it meant to die? It would seem reasonable to suggest it was when he began to bury his dead, a practice which originated with the Neanderthals. 
In a way, one might say that our growing understanding of death drove our development as a species, our fear of it, our attempts to conquer it. Why? It could be argued our entire history revolves around these obsessions. Take the great pyramids of Egypt or the tombs of the ancient emperors of China. The more powerful the person, the bigger and grander their final resting place. Or, to posit a more radical theory, could the very concepts of power in society themselves have emerged solely to facilitate the creation of such monuments, such challenges to the finality of death? Either way, in leaving behind something they hoped might endure through the ages, the builders of these edifices believed that they too might live on forever. The mummies of the Egyptians are another means by which man sought to fulfill his desire to escape the finality of death. They were created that the spiritual self, the Ka, would have a physical vessel, or Ha, to which it could return. The Soku Shubinsu, <laughs> I cannot pronounce that, or mummified monks of Buddhism are similar in this respect. However, the monks in question aimed to transition straight from life to Buddhahood. In other words, to forgo death altogether. But now that the beach has brought us into direct contact with the world beyond, our relationship with death must, must further evolve. Our, the next stage in our understanding is upon us. The Corals of the Seam Life began in the oceans. As it evolved, it graduated to the land. At least, this is what was believed until recently. To creatures of the sea, the land is a harsh and unforgiving place. Given this, what could possibly have compelled these organisms to make such a drastic transition? Consider that fossils of the first fish to adapt themselves to land have been found in region, regions with unusually large tidal range. Could it be that these creatures develop legs in order to more swiftly return to the safety of the sea when stranded? Could their evolutionary leap have been triggered by this traumatic experience? If so, could similar circumstances have shaped the evolution of the coral-like organisms that inhabit the seam and driven them to develop an ability to live between life and death, between time and timelessness? Coral is, after all, older than any organism of the land and hardy enough to have weathered the mass extinction of 540 million years ago. And it is a life form upon which many other organisms rely for survival. Bearing all this in mind, one could argue that the ability to survive in the seam is indicative of a profound evolutionary leap. BTs are reaching out to us by Hartman three years ago. 2.4 million years ago, Homo habilis started to craft stone tools. Hands are so very important, don't you think? Our other sensory organs passively interpret data. Our eyes light, our ears sound, our noses smell, our mouths taste, but hands, hands are different. To touch requires conscious action, to grasp more so, to connect that which is, le which is in our left hand with, what, with that which is in our right still more. And the handprints we see when BTs seek out humans, why, I'd say that's just evidence of our otherworldly friends yearning to forge a connection. They're reaching out to us, attempting to bridge the gap between realm of the dead and that of the living. And let's see, cryptobiotes. By Fragile, two years ago, at Fragile Express HQ. We call these bugs cryptobiotes. They were recorded in reference books and databases back before the Death Stranding, but nobody ever thought to give them a proper classification. So cryptobiotes, they stayed. They're named for the process of cryptobiosis, which means hidden life. When environmental conditions get too harsh or resources too scarce, cryptobiotes can shut down their met metabolic processes and enter an almost death-like state in order to survive. Tardigrades and sleeping chronomids <laughs> are capable of this too, but cryobites are on a whole other level. They can survive anything and anywhere, even on the beach or in the seam and they aren't capable of prolonging only their own lives. Humans who eat them acquire a limited resistance to timefall, too. You won't find them lying around just anywhere, though. You need to know where to look. Not many people even knew they existed until recently, so next to no research has been done. But now that their beneficial properties have been recognized, I'm willing to bet they'll, pay, they'll play an important role in helping us understand the beach, the Death Stranding, and everything else. <clears throat> Okay, let's see. A porter's note number one to our beloved daughter. 
from an unidentified porter unknown when where unknown <clears throat> i hope you'll get the chance to read this one day picturing you doing just that as i write helps me get my thoughts in order i want to tell you about your mother we used to work together <clears throat> excuse me way back before you were born that's how we met on the road making deliveries to try and get america back on her feet she was from a military family raised by parents who taught her to take care of others come what may who gave her the tools to do the job right and proper and sure enough she was tough as they come and brilliant to boot knew all there was to know about guns medicine you name it but more than that what drew me to her was compassion a burning desire to help those in need your mother she believed this country was once a beacon of hope and freedom and that it was her responsibility to help bring folks back together hearing her talk like that i couldn't help but fall hard i would have given anything done anything to make her dream a reality before i knew it she'd become my beacon a promise of what could be and you're that promise fulfilled proof of what's possible child of my american dream <clears throat> Memo 2 from mother to daughter. Who unknown, when unknown, where unknown. I'm sorry, five years isn't enough time to get your bearings, much less live a life. You were the only one I could save. Could only dig graves for the others, and then for you, in the end. Dig and grieve and try to make amends. All that's left to me is her, my daughter. My sole remaining glimmer of hope. Our future may be broken, but it's not beyond repair. Futures are fragile things, but my daughter is made of stronger stuff. She has what it takes to pick up the pieces and put them back together again. I hope. I pray. Alright, that is the end of the interviews. We'll go back up, save, and then next time we will continue where we left off. Dairy time bomb. I missed something. <laughs> Before I go, I'm going to fabricate a bunch of grenades and things we will need. <laughs> I will not be making the same mistake on the next stream. I'm going to make sure of that before I even say goodbye. There we go. Grenades and what else we needed? Container repair spray. Holy crap. Well, it'll be heavy, but we will be happy. All right, let us save. So thank you for coming, guys. We'll continue on the next stream and finish that order <laughs> to Port Knot City. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. <laughs>